What up, though? What's going on, man? It's OP, man. From God Diva Magazine, man. How you doing, you know, man? It's good to hear from you. I'm, I'm doing good, man. You know, me and you, we ain't really start off on the right foot, man. But, uh, you know, you started your greasy talk off back. And, you know, I had to come, you know, and clarify shit up with you. And, you know, to me, you always seem to be like a little, a little, little on the, on the side of the truth. I know your shit is like up in debate. You, you, you debating, but... Sometimes you take that shit a little too far for me. Word. The debate, the debate, the debate creates the the no, no, the chaos creates the debate though. You feel me? The controversy. I I understand that, man. But when you got people listening and people following you, and you know the shit that y'all believe to be and to be solid and to be like upstanding it, it don't feel it don't fit right with, with, with real shit you know like we we never said nothing bad about nobody no alcohol no this person but we just talk the truth and everybody wants to go on the left side of the truth for some reason you know it was oh they ain't got no paperwork da, da, da. nigga come with paperwork now, paperwork ain't what it is. All this stories about this person tough, that person tough, you ain't never heard nobody say they did anything to anybody. You ain't never heard nobody say they took anything. After you made your statement, did you not get a call from someone you've known to be credible? And did they change your narrative? They did. Thank you. Just like Hussein uh, Campbell, he made some shit. He got a call. Changed his narrative. Did you hear anything from Sammy O? And you know I talk shit to, y- to all y'all who got something crazy to say. You, I'm in mean, everybody's fucking comments on their neck. Just telling the truth. Sammy O probably got some calls too, so he ain't gonna say nothing. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rude. Right at 3 o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. You had a problem with the statement that Sammy made. Could you clear that up for me, please? Okay. What what, what you want to know about the, the, the Sammy thing? Just um. Okay. Sammy said um. What did he say? He said he uh punched Al B. Now I threw Al B. Sure up there because it was funny to me. A lot of people. Right. No, it wasn't Al B. Sure. It was, it was okay. It was Al B. Sort of blocked. He was part of the family, right? Yes. Al B. Was five feet six. And I'm not exaggerating his height. I'm not lying on his height. Albie was five feet six. They got into basin back and forth. Oh, let me show y'all. They got into basin back and forth. And Sammy did what any man would do. He ain't like what he said. He punched him in the mouth. Nobody is denying that. He did that. Okay, what but about... But then, once he found out who he hit, over some broad, because he asked some, some questions over some broad. Where they do that at? You know, you don't send no nigga over no bitch. And she ain't even your main bitch. Word. But he want to say, Al B was throwing dirt on his name. Okay. Did the bitch believe her? <laughs> but you saw this five foot six dude, and you wanted to stick your chest out. And then when you found out, who he was, you went hiding. Like you said, you went hiding. You said how oh, your car got shot up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The whole, every, everybody know Kevin had a store on 125th Street. The most popular real estate spot in Harlem. 
He was dead on 121st Street from Sunday to Sunday. What did he say? He said he went to the store and Kevin was there. Kevin was always there. We was always there. From sun up to sundown, we was in the store. We was on 125th Street. So what do you think his so motive was for going you, to the store? Huh? What was his motive for going to the store? Because I remember you saying if he wanted to go... He was going to the store to piece it up. Like, yo, Kev, we don't want no... We don't want no problems. We want to, you know... How can we relieve this, you know? Woo, woo, my bad. Word. And Kev told him, yo, you didn't hit me, man. Why are you coming to me? You got to take that up with Al B. Well, you know, we'll, 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 where can we find Al B? Kev called Al B. I said, yo, I'll be, man, you know, the dude who will send me over here, blah, 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 you know, they want to, you know, leave this shit, man. So, he told him, all right, I'll be saying, come check him out over here. It wasn't the case. Come on, man, Kev told him, oh, I'll be over here there. For what? For what? You didn't come in there on no, motherfucker, put your hands up. You came in there like, yo, Kev, man, woo, woo. I know that was your man. Woo. So now it's Kevin wasn't built like that. Kevin never said no tough shit ever. So why do people paint that narrative? I guess he was supposed to be in certain people's eyes. I ain't saying he was supposed to be. Like I had my issue with the one situation I ain't gonna get into. But like I said, I've since clarified that. But dig this here is your position that he went to the head of the machine, basically. There you go, player. <laughs> he went to diffuse the problem with the head of the machine. Right. Because he knew where to find him because he was there. Seven days From Sunday to Sunday. <laughs> From Sunday to Sunday, he was there. So you knew where to find him. I get it. Because you know, if you listen to the story, and I know you did, because you you was you was there with me, commenting or whatnot, it seems like he's saying that him glazed and a couple of killers came in there on some rah rah shit, pressing for pressing for information. And, and okay, Kev why gave would you come up. in there on some? Why, why would you come in there on some rah rah shit? For what reason? No idea. For you? For what reason? Ain't nobody hit you. You not coming for revenge. You hit a nigga. So if you like that. What's the problem? Man, fuck that nigga. I hit the nigga so what, man? When he, when he see me, he see me. Well, Why is you going anywhere to talk to anybody? Why is you coming to find anybody? Let's fuck them niggas, man. They, they know where I'm at. That's, that's how I would carry it. That's, that's, Why that's, am I going to see anybody? Why am I going to see anybody, even if I'm going rah-rah or anything? Ain't nobody do nothing to him. He hit somebody. Right? That's what he said, right? He hit the man, right? Right. So now, why are you hit the man and then you looking for him again? Because they were looking for his ass. A perceptive mind. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, man, just use common sense, man. I'm not, I'm not asking you to, to make nothing up. I'm asking you to use common sense. No, common sense is that he came looking for Kev because the niggas had shot his car up. He said he called his uncle. His uncle told him to stay in the house, basically, until I defused this. So that shows the power. No, 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 no. That's not what he said. He said his uncle told him, I don't know where you is. Stay where you at until I defuse this situation. Until I can straighten this out. His uncle was calling Kev to defuse this situation. But Kev told his uncle, he didn't hit me. What the <laughs> Like, why is Kevin name even in the story? He did not hit them. He did nothing to Kevin. He did it to someone else who's not here to defend himself. God bless the dead. Respect. God bless the dead. But he needs to clout chase for this book. Everybody can't sell a book, man. Kevin sold 5,000 copies in two months, man. Everybody can't sell a book. Right on. Just, you, you just gonna write a book and who, who's, who's gonna buy it? What you gonna tell the story that you just told there? You telling the story that Glaze told three years ago. And Glaze hit me up on, on this YouTube there and I didn't want to kill him. 
You didn't want to kill him. Kill him for what? You want to kill somebody that, that got punched in the face? It ain't like he did something to you. Or he did something to Sammy O. Sammy O. hit him. Okay, you ever smacked the nigga that went, hold on, hold on. You ever smacked the nigga that went looking for him? Yes. No, you won't say, man, fuck that nigga, man. When he see me, he see me. I already violated him, man. Fuck that nigga. Uh, on the flip side of that coin, just saying devil's advocate to that. You say, uh, what? Glaze said he didn't want to kill him. Right. right? Okay. Now, right. um, he hit me up. Well, he, he erased the comment, but he hit me up and was saying it was the art of negotiation. You know what I'm saying? But you want to kill him for what? Because they're trying to kill his cousin. They wow. shot his cousin whip up. You feel me? That's the indication. But they wasn't, but they, hold on, hold on, hold on. But they not built like that. They soft. Out of his mouth, out of his words, they not built like that. They soft. <laughs> so what are you worried about anything for? Why are you looking for anybody? Nigga, they soft. They not going to do nothing to you, right? That's what you said. But then you talk about an incident happening. <laughs> now you really scared because they not as soft as you thought they were. Huh? I said that in the video. Like, them niggas should, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so and and, and I, like I told Glaze, I said Glaze, when you trying to, I ain't even call him Glaze, I call him Brian, because he needs to uh, reform himself, as he said, he, you know, he's a changed man. So you need to come and you know show some remorse for the family, you know, change. If you, if you want to change, that's how change. You're not showing me change. You kind of get glorifying your past. And that's not cool. That right there is not cool to me at all. And Sammy Yo later in there talking about he passed care for 10000 and cash hung up on him. Nigga, you had $2 million, but you were short. What the fuck was your bail? $2 million, uh, 10000 You were short 10000 Where did the $2 million go? <laughs> you crazy. No, I'm not crazy, man. Let me tell you, man. They can't fuck with us. Because we're smarter. <laughs> and we're three steps ahead of them. In every angle, every direction, they can't fuck with us, man. You talk about some of us in 20 years, nigga. 20 years. This man did 10 years. Was on the street. The fans are telling us that. But the fans say, y'all need to get the newspaper clips. He had a 10, 11 year run, making 10 million a year. Yeah. Niggas, niggas says Nicky Barnes. 